Good morning. Day one, St. John's River starts in 42 minutes, about 62 minutes for us. But uh, this is my first ever Bass Match Elite Series event was here. And uh, very special place in my mind, at least. So, you know, this is kind of a Elite Series staple. We come here, seems like, every single year. And I like this place. I like it a lot. Fish is cool. It's a little bit weird. Tidal, which always makes stuff weird, but it's a fun place to fish. Got some really, really big ones in it, too. What you gonna catch today? 28.3. What are you gonna catch them on? Probably something crazy like a wacky rig. But we're gonna try to catch them on a frog. When are you due back in? 4.30. Long day. <clears throat> Nine hours and ten minutes. We can't find something in that. Something's wrong. What are me and Link Man going to do for nine hours? I guess y'all going to be waiting. That's a long time. That is a long time. Do you know at Harris Chain, I did not open Bass Track a singular time. I never even opened up the Bassmaster website. Was Nana helping you out? She was stressing me out. Like, if, I tell, if I'm like Kathy and Nana, like, I'm not looking at Bass Track. Don't tell me anything. I don't want to know anything like that. Like, I could just tell by their moods. <laughs> like, I don't even have to ask them. And Kathy will be over in the corner praying, and I'm like, it ain't good on Bass Track. I don't even need to look. <laughs> or if she's, like, in a really good mood, I'm like, yeah. So it really don't help to not look, because they're going to let you know. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Huh? It's usually your birthday when we're here. It usually is, yeah. Not this time. We can still pretend it's your birthday. They're probably not on bed as good as they are on the birthday. Yeah, they are. They are? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't get to watch that? I, I didn't go look where I normally look. Pull up. Hmm? Just pull up. It's too far. Remember, I usually drive, like, so far down here. Oh, and those little canals? Mm-hmm. One minute. One fun rod. One more fun rod. One more fun rod. The rod I'm going to have to throw, most likely. A little bit less fun. But it could be. Why not do both? Fifteen seconds. We thank y'all. Yep. Jake is gonna catch them all. Four, the twenty twenty four Bassmaster Elite Series. Come back to Tires, Bassmaster Elite is officially a four-time Bassmaster winner, Jacob Parasek. A four-time classic qualifier, David Mullins. Right behind him, a former Forest Wood Cup player of the year from Newark and Minnesota, the amazing Spider Man, Seth Spider. He's a seven-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, Brandon Card.
Everything I wanted to do, got bites exactly where I wanted to get bites. <clears throat> Just never caught a big one. Very unfortunate, but uh, hey, you know, how you doing, bud? kind of check Good. everything Good. today. Tomorrow we're gonna hunker down in an area and yeah, man. catch Five hopefully a couple of them big ones and get back in this thing. Like because I love fishing here. Like this is a tournament that started it for me, my elite series, and I like I love fishing here. I want to get back in contention. I mean, all right, our twenty. Twenty. Three, ba progressive bassmaster angler of the year. It's got 24, but it would have been 23, right? It's throwing me off because I'm like, we're not quite there yet. I mean, maybe they know something we don't, Kyle. We might as well just go ahead and do both. <laughs> Hand them the hundred grand for the angler of the year, but uh, no, 20, 23, progressive bassmaster angler of the year. Kyle Welcher, five fish, 13 pounds, 15 ounces. Hold a couple up. Yeah, give Kyle a big round of applause. Man, I'm going to tell you, that speech at the Night of Champions was awesome, man. It was on point. No, it's, seriously, it was on point. It was fast. All the elements I like in a speech. Yeah, you know, that's, that's just kind of how I do everything. And that's probably why I only had 13 pounds, because I go a little bit too fast all the time. But I, I love fishing here. This was my very first Bassmaster Elite Series tournament was right here in Palatka. So this kind of feels like the home for Bassmaster. And I had a lot of fun out there today, but we're going to hunker down in the area tomorrow and hopefully catch a big bag. I know you will. Give it up for Kyle. We're down to about five. Day two, St. John's River. We need to keep the normal trajectory, which is that I have a better day two than a day one. So hopefully we do that here. You know, yesterday I ran around to a bunch of different areas, tried a lot of different things. Caught fish kind of every way, but uh, kind of decided on a couple different things that I'm gonna spend a lot more time doing today. So hopefully works out in our favor and we catch us a couple of those really nice ones. But uh, it really disappointed my starting place yesterday. I caught four pretty fast and three of them ended up weighing in like the first like 15 minutes of fishing. And just didn't catch any good ones. So today we're gonna, you know, stay in there a little bit longer. And we got a different tide today that the bite should last a little bit longer. And hopefully we're gonna maximize and get a couple of those nice ones because in practice has some really nice bites in there. And I know there's some really big ones that live in there. So we just need to start off strong and then go be dangerous. Number four, the 2023 20, Progressive uh, Angler of the Year, Kyle Walter. Got me one. Yes, sir. We 
got a ton of mud fish where I live in Alabama. <laughs> that bite was awesome. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I thought he missed it because he went so crazy, so I waited for a second. Set the hook. Show me the bigger one. Huh? Show me the bigger one. <laughs> 
We just got these Progressive Angler of the Year champions are rolling on out, and here comes another one, and it's Kyle Welcher from just last year. Had 13 pounds and 15 ounces on day number one. Got five fish limit today. 14 pounds even with 27.15. He's sitting in 12th place. Golly, these weights are tight, tight, tight. I flip it around and have a crowd give me the chance. I've done it all, man. But in actuality, I haven't yet. What do you think, man? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I'm actually really surprised that my two days' weights were like an ounce apart because I went like 20 miles away from each other and caught fish doing entirely different things. And then obviously, it just kind of shows like what's biting right now. You see how tight the weights are, and it's like a lot of 13 and a half pound bags. And it's, it's unbelievable how you can go. 30 miles one way or 60 miles the other way, and that's just kind of like what this place is providing right now. But it's a lot of fun out there. I've caught nine of my 10 fish I've weighed in on top water, so I'd like to go get some more of that tomorrow. Awesome, look forward to seeing that. Great job, Kyle. We hope to see you here tomorrow. Here in the great state of Florida, Tyler Ravette. He's a 10-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a TTBC champion from Asheville, Alabama, Matt Heron. He's your reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, so cold, Kyle Welcher. That was like a three and three quarter, four pounder I lost. Let's bring up our reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Stone Cold, Kyle Welcher. Had 27.15 to start the day. Many good memories here in the St. Johns River. Had 18.15 is what he needs to get inside the cut. 12 pounds even, moves him into 37th place with 39 pounds, 15 ounces. 
digging deep in that crush city way in bag and gonna hold a few up for you ladies and gentlemen let's hear it for mercury pro stone cold kyle welcher so 39 15 and a good payday and on to murray next yeah, absolutely. And like you said, which a second ago, a lot of great memories here. This is my first ever Elite Series tournament. Somehow I ended up catching a 10-1. But, you know, today I was really trying to catch a big bag, and I forced it at uh, 1.30. I had one bass. So I went back to my roots, and I pulled my trolling motor up like 40 more times to end the day. And it seemed like every 10 spots I'd actually catch one. So it was a lot worse than that like an hour and a half ago. And I actually caught my last fish at 3.09 five miles away and i was due back at 315 so that makes it fun even though we only had 12 pounds hey a good finish a good payday we'll see you at lake murray